Snipey, snipey time. Trying to win this at, like, maybe a five-second snipe or so. Uh, oof. Okay. Only two bids, but there's watchers. I don't want to lose. Okay, now. Now. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't want to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the refresh. I'm going to keep hitting the refresh. Keep hitting the refresh. And so the auction ends. Did I win or did I lose? I won. Woohoo. All right, so welcome to another eBay antique vintage unboxing. This is going to be iffy. All right. Terrible pictures, terrible description, and uh, it could be trash or treasure. All right. Most of the stuff in the lot I did not want. I just wanted one item. I saw it on the side. You know, when they, they film like a lot of things, I saw it on the side. Now it was said that it does not close all the way. So I might not even be able to fix it and it might be trash also. All right. So I didn't want the other stuff. I was going to tell her to just throw it in the garbage, but, uh, all right, we'll see. Maybe the other stuff might be even worth something, but I really didn't like them. And this could go south really fast if you know what I mean so it could be I just wasted it was like $20 I won the bid for like $20 and 52 cents and then there was $10 shipping so I could waste 30 bucks or you know we might get something good here wow this person packed this extremely well wow all right <laughs> this is a five-star packing job if you're an eBay reseller you need to know this is like really impressive all right let's go ahead and get in here if we can what the hell wait a minute wait a minute is this not the item oh okay it says comps comps can you guess what it is and then it says perfume and then oh wait I don't want you crack maniacs to get my address it, it was something like a piece of paper I think it had my address on it all right so one of them I had my eye on all right. It could be junk. I hope it's not junk. Okay. What I'm hoping, what I'm hoping, the best case scenario is that it's still a uh, sterling silver and I could fix it. All right. We'll open the least of the things that I wanted first. We'll get it going. Yeah. I saw it. It was like a perfume bottle. It, the pictures were just shiz. It was all blurry. I don't even know what this is. Could be like from the fifties, sixties, seventies, you know, something undesirable that you don't want, but who knows? It might be like my favorite thing. Sometimes that happens. All right, let's go ahead. What the heck is this? All right, so it's some kind of enamel. Yeah, it looks like enamel, enamel bottle. And it has a lot of perfume in it. You see the perfume? Is there any name on this? Do we have any name of a maker? No, we don't. Let's twist it off and smell it. What's the worst that could happen? I could pass out and die. All right. Uh, it's enamel. Is this from the 30s? Could this be from the 30s or 40s? I don't know. If anyone knows, write in the comments below. Here's what the top looks like and the neck of the bottle. All right. We're going to smell this. And what the hell? Wait, wait. What is that? What is that? Does that mean this thing it was sealed? And never, I don't know what this is. Is this a stopper? Oh, it's some kind of stopper and it's made out of rubber or something. It's yeah, it's a rubber stopper. I've never seen a rubber stopper on perfume. Oh, wait, wait, it has a dipper. Not the big dipper. It has it's the little dipper. All right, let's smell this. It's going to smell like shiz probably. Yeah, it's filled. I think the bottle is filled with perfume. Oh, my God, it smells really good. Oh, it smells really, really good. This looks like it's a full bottle of perfume, boys and girls. I don't know. But when I pulled the dipper out, it was like covered in perfume. Does anybody know anything about this? Please write in the comments below. I will have to research this. It actually smelled really good. <laughs> like strong perfume, you know? It's old. It has some kind of weird ru uh, rubber stopper. So let's go ahead. Let's look at this. So, okay, so we have black and white enamel. The top has black enamel. We have brass, and we have this little square bottom part. If anyone recognizes this perfume, please write it in the comments below, because I don't think we're gonna know what this is. All right, next. All right. And the moment that I've been waiting for, is this trash? 
Or is this treasure? All right, so I look for these compacts that are Italian. Now, I used to think they were antique. I used to think that they were from the, the eight, late 1800s, early like 1900s, 1920s. Turns out they were made in the mid-century, mid-century modern, but made to look antique. And a lot of the good ones were made out of sterling silver, and they'll have a portrait on it. Well, they'll have like an old, like say Botticelli painting, uh, painted on the compact. And these were made by jewelers in Italy, and they're highly coveted. The later ones, like they started making them in the 20s or 30s, and then the later ones from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and they went, they stopped making them in the 70s, are sort of shizzy. But they, when they first started making them, they made them with 800 silver. So I'm hoping this is one of the earlier ones. And she said it does not close. So, wow, this is heavy. This is a heavy chunk. Let's look at the undesirable items first. And then we'll get to, you know. Okay, I'm not looking at it. I'm putting it over here. Okay. Let's see the other ones. Okay. This one, what the hell is this? It says EA. I think that means American Elgin. Original box. She said this was all in fair condition. And uh, original box. Let's try to get this open. And here is a compact. It has some kind of etching on it not in the best of condition because you can see that but I could probably simichrome this and clean this I don't know how old this is I really don't uh oh it even has look at this American Elgin I don't know if this is from the 30s the 20s the 50s the 60s the 70s but it's looking old what's it say down here American Beauty does anybody know Oh, there's my chandelier. And uh, yeah, the, the mirror looks like it's in good shape. All right, let's go ahead and see where the powder part would go. If I could find it, where would you put the powder? I am not very good at this. Hold on. There's like a, a spot that you open this. How the hell do you open this thing? Do you press here? Do you press there? Where do you press? Where would the powder go? Or the rouge? Or like, am I that stupid? I see a hinge, I think. No. Wait. What, what the hell do you do with this? I'll be back. Can't figure it out. I'm not a rocket scientist. So here it is. It's like brushed nickel. And here we go. It has some kind of etching. It says American Beauty. And it has its original little felt bag that you could put it in. Let's make sure it's the right one. Because sometimes it's not even the right compacts box. Nope, it fits perfectly. And here's the writing. So we can try to figure out the age of this. It's flannel or felt. All right, next. Next. Um, yeah, the next one I thought was really ugly. And uh, this one I thought was hideous. This is apparently a Cody Bell compact. And apparently these are getting rare from what I've been reading up on. Because I saw the picture of this and I was like, what is that? So I Googled it until I figured out what this was. And it's a Cody Compact. I think it was made sometime in the 30s, 40s. Don't know. And here we go. Cody, New York. And it has bells. Now I can clean this with Simichrome, which we are going to do. And then, whoa. Oh, I didn't know that happens. Does that really happen? Oh, okay. So you can make it like a stand. And I guess you can make it stand up. All right, so let's get this open. How do we open this? And I, I'm not good at this. Oh, shit. Wait. What did I just do? Oh, so you can hold this like a handle. And you can lean it back. Oh, okay. I see now. Very interesting. It does not have the original powder puff. Now, how do you open this? Oh, here we go. All right. And this is where I guess the rouge or the powder would be. This is where your powder puff would be. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if it was supposed to have a mirror inside. So, you know, it could be a total bust. Now we're going to get to the uh, the thing, the main attraction. Okay, so this I can clean. I'm going to clean with Simicrone. I do see the, the selling for between uh, $290, all the way down to like $99. Don't know why. What is the, I don't know. All right, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, is this one of those Italian rare compacts that everybody goes wild over? Okay, so we have a portrait right here. And now I'm hoping this is 800 silver. I don't know if it's 800 silver. 
All right, I cut off. I cut it off because my face, I ended up opening it up and my, my face showed up in the mirror. Um, so it might be 800 silver, but the later ones were made out of brass. Even uh, the even the later ones were actually very expensive. A lot of people uh, bought these um, when they went to, say, Rome or Italy. Actually, by the River Arno was the spot. I forgot what part of Italy that was. That was where all these jewelers were making these compacts. By the way, the ones that are made out of 800 silver, it took them like... 19 different processes just to make them they had to hand hammer and hand uh chase the silver and then they got uh sort of like they started going out of favor but these were also so sold in exclusive shops like neiman marcus Saks fifth avenue and they were very expensive but then they started making them out of brass and even as uh, late as the 70s uh they made them out of brass and they wholesaled for 77 dollars for each case so these were not cheap. So what I'm going to try to do, I did find a make um, on here. It said made in Italy, but it was so tarnished and so verdigreed that it was very hard to find if there was any other marks. Usually it would be around the rim or near a tab or hidden somewhere uh, would be the 800. I have a couple of these and it's always like, how did you find that? How did you find that 800 mark? Because it's like totally hidden. It could be hidden under all the filth and the verdigree. So what I am going to do is... I am going to, did my face just show up on there? I hope not. I'm going to have to blur this part out. But I'm going to clean it with Simicrone and I will be back. I'm going to clean this one also with Simicrone. So remember it. Remember both of these. Okay, how filthy they are. Let's get in there close at the portrait. And it's an Elizabethan, Elizabethan like queen. Can we focus? Can we get a focus? And let's get in there even closer. And so it's like a portrait on some kind of like, maybe it's celluloid or some kind of, maybe even a wafer of ivory. I highly doubt it, but it's probably on something. And it's uh, not hand done. Generally a lot, most of these were transfer and painted over transfer. Even the more expensive, more valuable ones were painted over transfer. All right, I'm going to clean these up with Simicrone and see what happens. See if we can get this to stay closed also. All right, so you want to you want to do it on a spot where it's least conspicuous. You want to test this out. If this is brass, you got to be careful because they could have been glazing on it. I put some Simicrone, and we have a jewelry polishing rag. Let's go ahead and see what happens. We hope that there's no bad reaction because sometimes you get a bad reaction if it's like cheaply made brass. And sometimes the stains will not come out or you'll take the glaze off with it. And I'm finding, look at the, the rag, it is filthy, absolutely filthy. Let's keep going and just keep rubbing around in circular motions. It's reticulated, so it's like very hard to get in the nooks and crannies. So I'm gonna wad up my polishing rag to a point like this and just go around like this as much as I can to get in those nooks and crannies. And look at this. That is insane. All right, I'm going to continue to do this, and I, I will be back. It is so filthy. Layers and layers and layers of filth is coming off of it. So, so far, I got mostly... I'm going to have to do again over this area. But this is uh, it before, and this is it as I'm cleaning it. So, it's cleaning up really nice. So, now I have to do this half up here. Okay. So I figured out how to open the Elgin American Beauty Compact. Apparently I did some research and it's from the 40s. Uh, so yeah, all right. So I'm guessing this lot is from the late 30s, 40s time frame. And uh, okay, so the American Elgin appeared never to have been used. And uh, we have the original powder puff. You would have, uh, I, bu I believe, bought a cake from, a cake of powder from American Elgin or Elgin America. Yeah, Elgin America. Sorry about that. And uh, you can buy extra powder puffs for 60 cents for three. So I saw an ad for 60 cents for three. This has the original powder puff. And so this opens up, look, it's like three ways that this opens up, which is quite cool. And so you would put this powder puff pad in here. The powder would be under there. It appears that I don't think there was ever any powder in here. So this, this could be new old stock. And I'm just gonna move the mirror this way. I don't need you crack maniac seeing me. Here we go. 
And look, it was never used. So the powder puff is brand spanking new. We got the new box. We got the flannel, the flannel American Elgin, uh, con you know, to keep it contained. And the American Beauty pad. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. I'm going to put this back in here. And so how it works is I was like, how the hell do you open and close this thing? There's like a little button over here. All right, so we're going to close this. Now look how clean this is. This is like really clean. I didn't even wipe it clean inside. Okay, that's how clean it is. And then you're going to just turn it like so and press it shut. There we go. All right, so I cleaned it with Simicrone and it shined up like a new penny. It really doesn't have much damage to it. And original box value. Uh, I see them selling anywhere from uh, 20 to as much as $75 in the American Beauty line. So I don't know. I don't know the value on this. I would say that this, this compact clearly would pay for the whole lot. All right, so there we go. All right, next. Next, we have the Jingle Bell Cody. Now, it, it it's going to be the most horrible, horrendous thing. When you get some old verdigreed uh, brass, it's so hard to clean with Simicrone. If it's stained up, the stains ain't coming out. All right, so I cleaned it as much as I could. You saw it was really badly discolored. Let's go ahead and check it out over here. And I cleaned it as best I could. And I see these selling for between, believe it or not, which shocked me to shit. And apparently people are saying from the 30s. Now, I don't know how true this is. It shocked me to shit to find out that a lot of people are spending uh, between $299, 200 I see them sold, $247, $225, $175, $150, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
French, meets French, like Coco Chanel meets the Orient type of smell. I don't know what the hell it is. It's not very flowery. It's really peppery and spicy, and it, it's not like Old Spice spicy. It's it's just really expensive and exotic smelling. I'm not shitting you. I would probably still wear this. Now, vintage perfume, the older it is, it's like wine, the better it actually gets. So, hey, you know, uh, you can still wear this stuff. If anybody knows the maker, I would love to know. All right, next, our grand finale. I cleaned it up as best as I could. Looked it over for marks. Now, uh, the early ones from the 20s, 30s, just about the 40s were made with 800 silver. Then they started getting sloppy and lazy. And by the way, all these paintings were transfer, even the early ones. So it was a transfer decal, and they painted over it. Uh, you'd see not just portraits, like the small portraits, but the whole part, like most of the um, middle part that you see here would be a scene, a scene from a 1700s Rococo French painting or from famous artists such as Botticelli, The Birth of Venus, stuff like that. And then you'll see sometimes these little portraits. Here's an Elizabethan queen. And you can see there is hand painting on here. I don't know. Let's zoom. You can see... There is hand painting on here. You can see along her collar, the beading. You go close, you can see, focus, focus. These, these cameras do not focus. The closer you get, the less they focus. But uh, yeah, I mean, not the best. Okay, but it's not 800 silver from what I see. It does say made in Italy, but look how I shine this up. It is most likely brass, or it could be ver vermeil, ver gold vermeil over 800 silver. I could be wrong. Sometimes the 800 mark is hidden somewhere. Sometimes it's under the hinge. It's in a very, very obscure corner. But look at this very cool classical French. Louis the... What king was that? The one with Marie Antoinette. The one that said, uh, uh, eat cake and die? No. Off with their heads? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, let them eat cake. You know, like around that time frame. Very, very, very French. Look at that. We have the garlands going across this. This is actually beautiful. We had the little seashells on the bottom from like the birth of Venus going on. Could not get it to where it like stays shut completely, but it's good enough for me. Uh, it's shining like a new penny. If you see this, there we go. Here's the back shining like a new penny. But um, okay, value. Believe it or not, since it's not one of those with the giant paintings going around it, some of them even had a precious enamel. That looked like precious stone, like lapis lazuli. Some of them had turquoise and stuff like that. This one's more actually generic because it has a small portrait in the center. But this, this is actually exquisite. And jewelers made this near the Arno River in Italy. They went out of style somewhere in the 70s. It was like people were tired of paying because these were expensive. And in, in, the, in like 1970, one of these was $77 at Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus. And then just people were buying the cheap shit like Cody, Cody Compacts and stuff like that. And they were like, ah, yeah, we don't need it anymore. And so this, uh, I see ones like this. Not the, the more like coveted ones with the 800 silver that were like hand chased and stuff. Uh, these ones sell in the 200 to $300 price range all day long. So we got a score. Was it trash or was it treasure? Treasure. Okay, this to me is junk. I'm going to be completely honest. It does jingle. Junk. But this is treasure. Okay, I'm not used to, I'm used to, I'm a little bit spoiled. Not going to lie, a little bit spoiled. I'm used to much better uh, hits or scores. Like if I spend 50 bucks, something's worth like 800 to 1,000. But this is good enough for me. Uh, 200 to like $300 to 350. I'll take it. I'll take it all day long for 30 bucks. Uh, $20 plus $10 shipping. And these objects pay for this. Boom. Am I going to sell these? I don't sell on the internet anymore. If anyone wants to buy these off of me, I don't know, write in the comments. We'll figure something out. Uh, this is almost brand new. That perfume is, oh my God, scrumptious. It's like, could I describe it as delicious? Delicious. It was delicious perfume. If you know who made that perfume, please contact me. I suspect it's French. It smells French. And uh, I'm not a perfume connoisseur. But I do know good French perfume smells, and that smells really good. All right, so if you want the Jingle Bells, let me know. I'll probably let you have it for $30 plus $10, $15 shipping. Uh, this, 
I saw one that looked almost identical to it. Did not come with the original box. Sell for seventy-five. If you want it, fifty bucks. And this, first we had to investigate the value. This not for sale. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon and so long. And the dogs are ruining my video, of course. Oh well.